All right, hi, good morning, and welcome to the 2012 CrossFit Seminar. And uh, first of all, I'd like to start off by thanking St. Edwards University for having me here on y'all's campus. And second of all, especially you all the students, who will hopefully, by the end of this presentation, become CrossFit members. Now, before I start, I'd like to start off by talking a little bit more about my his about my past, a little bit more about me. And uh, this is me in seventh grade, and me earlier days when I was around 10, 11. As you can see, I, like, I was a chubby kid. Um, I like food, <laughs> or I love food, who am I kidding? I love food, um, and basically, I mean, I love tortillas, donuts, cupcakes, but the point of this presentation isn't to get you all hungry here, guys. I know it's really early in the morning. I'm gonna talk to you more about the sport of CrossFit. The sport of CrossFit is a workout regimen for many mixed martial artists, hundreds of athletes nationwide, as well as uh, many Olympians who are who, who were in our games back in 2012. Um, our mission at CrossFit. CrossFit focuses on eight key fitness domains, and those are um, cardiovascular and respiratory endurance, stamina, speed, agility, balance, flexibility, and power. Now, our community at CrossFit is second to none. Um, I have been a CrossFit uh, trainer since around 2008. Uh, when it opened, and by the way, I'm Joe Benavides, this. And my uncle actually opened CrossFit Laredo, and that's how I started getting into it. You know, I loved it right off the bat. I became a CrossFit fanatic um, right after I was a food fanatic, of course. And as you can see here, we have, I welcome you to the, to the community of people who have decided to say that easy will no longer suffice. That's basically the way CrossFit is. It's a very intense workout, and you're there, and you're, the sole purpose of being there is to, you know, to work your butt off and hopefully, you know, get something in return, which is, the, I mean, the, the, like the way you end up after or going for the boot camp for the first two weeks is amazing. You really see the difference. Um, let's see, CrossFit versus Gold's Gym. Overall, the, these are the benefits that CrossFit could offer you. First of all, you're taking out of your comfort zone. Uh, what I mean by that is, after like joining CrossFit, you, you walk in there. Let's say you go to Gold's Gym. You walk in with your headphones. You have to wait a lot, stand around for machines, dumbbells, treadmills, whatnot. Everything's always taken up, and you're going at you're going at low intensity. You're doing workout movements such as these, and you know bench pressing. And yeah, I mean yeah, it'll make you bigger, it'll make you buffer. But the, what we do at CrossFit is intense workouts, working out all parts of your body throughout every workout. That's the main thing. We focus on the core and fundamentals as far as agility goes, speed. You're ready to do anything. You're ready to bike, swim, um, run. You know, just a couple months ago, I did a Tough Mudder, which was a 12 mile run. And before that, I hadn't done, ran more jog more than five miles in my life. So CrossFit, I could say, definitely got me ready for that Tough Mudder event. Now, um, intensity, like I said, is it's like increases every time you go. Like I said, you become a CrossFit fanatic. The community that's there, they're there to push you. And as I said, as you can see here, the trainers and the peers pushing you are like no other. Yes, at Gold's Gym, you could get a personal trainer, but you probably have to pay more than the, the monthly membership and whatnot, and then they just say, okay, do this. No, focus on your form. But at CrossFit, they tell you exactly how it is. They're not there to BS you. They're gonna tell you, get off your lazy ass and get to work. Do this, do that, and you're gonna have to go to work or whether you like it or not. Yes, question. Aren't the like, peers pushing you? Wouldn't that turn you off from the program? Since you're, if you're not fit, you're coming into a program and they're- Right, well, like I said, or I haven't mentioned that yet, but as far as changing your perspective on, on, on things, you're there just to go and work on yourself. You're better to better yourself as you go. And as these, as these workouts are timed, um, you're there to better yourself every time you go. So it's just basically self-motivation. They're not there to say, hey, you know, like, your peers are, are, they're all going at the same pace. You start at the same time. You work, you warm up together. But it's a bond that you all know, like, you're gonna work out at your own pace. She's gonna work out at his own pace and whatnot. And that's how you all, that's how you work from there. It's just like, you never meet a plateau. You always have something to work on and you're always gonna find something, whether you're injured or your, your mom was just pregnant and she wants to start, you know, she just had a baby. We'll work around it. You know, there's always a, a fitness, like, as far as that goes, there's different um, workouts as far as, we, we could modify your workout for you, that's what I was further than me. And now our, our motto is Forging Elite Fitness. Now, as I said, CrossFit is a sport. In, two, in 2008, when it started, um, we had um, Reebok basically sponsors CrossFit. And in California every year now we have the CrossFit Games, which is basically the test of the fittest man in the world. And it's, it's actually a sport, it's been baptized as a sport of fitness. So what better way to get a good workout in than going to the sport of fitness and actually working out every part of your body every day. You become a fanatic right after. Now, know your strength. 
right off the bat, it's kind of like at CrossFit doesn't really, you know, we don't meet with that because knowing your strength, nobody should know their own strength. You always want to maximize your strength and progress as you go. There's no knowing your own strength, ever. Now, just the daily wad. For those who don't know what CrossFit terms, the wad is workout of the day. And as you can see here, we have Filthy 50 and we have a CrossFit workout named Teresa. On the right side, we have a pyramid workout. We have 100 single jump ropes, 90 sit-ups, as you can see, we're going lower and lower and lower, and then we finish off with a one-mile run to open the lactic acid on your legs and make sure you know you can recuperate better. Like I said, you're going, you're timed, but you're going at your own pace. You know, like you're not rushed to finish. You can finish as long as you want, it doesn't matter. But the fact that you're doing it with a bunch of people kind of pushes you to like, you know, work harder and just strive to finish off stronger. And like I said, we can modify your workouts. We have prescribed right here on the left, which is the hardest, RX. And we have the my skating, which is you know a less modified for those who are already starting off and whatnot. And we have Olympic lifts such as deadlifts, clean and jerks, power snatches, and many different various lifts that will help you. And the trainers will help you get to know after the two week boot camp that we have to offer. Now I'd like prior to join today as soon as possible. And before I have I finish this up, CrossFit is going to benefit you as you can see. We're focused on the eight fitness domains. Our community is second to none. You can't get any other. It's not like Gold's Gym. It's not like P90X or a program that you can do at home. This is a, a, this is for fanatics only, basically. And I welcome you all to join. And if you have any questions as far as memberships go, I know you all are students. We, work, we have a student membership rate monthly. And as well as, um, I, know, I know we have that college budget going on. So we have payment plans that we can work on. So if you have any questions, please contact me or go to www.crossfit.com and any questions, please, thank you.